first we introduced the master Yu Hongxie. Yeah. Uh, I think most people yesterday already uh, saw the uh, master's uh, Qigong show. And uh, he graduated from the Nanjing University of Traditional Chinese Medicine in 1980s and uh, has been work, uh, working with the university as a lecturer. Uh, and uh, is, a, uh, is a teaching hospital as a doctor until 2005. Uh, in July 2005, uh, Dr. Xie was uh, uh, awarded uh, his PhD uh, in the field of acupuncture and uh, Qigong Tuina by Nanjing University of Chinese Medicine in China. Uh, after 2005, he started practicing and teaching Chinese medicine in the UK. Uh, he is now practicing as a uh, uh, Chinese medicine consultant at uh, his own clinic in uh, North Wales and teaching regular course at uh, Shulan College, Manchester. Uh, Dr. Xie uh, specializes uh, in acupuncture therapy for pain management. He is also an uh, experienced uh, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner uh, uh, with significant experience in treatment of uh, gender uh, origin disorders such as females uh, infertility and uh, PCOS. Right? Okay, uh, so <laughs> let me come to the I'm very happy to talk about with you about Chinese medical Qigong. Uh, I want to ask uh, what is Qigong? You practice Qigong six years, over six years. Mm -hmm. so could you please explain for us what is Qigong? Mm. <coughs> so I think that's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, Qigong is the integration of uh, purposeful movement, purposeful breathing, and, and, uh, and mind, right? So as to self-regulate the system, right? So it's to bring the body back into resonance or harmony with the natural environment. That, but it's a big question. I think the, the, the definition can be a uh, lot. You are very correct. Uh, you mean there include uh, three elements. One is some special movements and do some breathing in, breathe out, breath exercise. And uh, how to control, how to use your mind, spirit. Uh, yes. This Rugu just build one of three elements, maybe, in not Qigong. Uh, then you can do a simple thing. This is not Qigong. Yes. Yeah. 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 We call it Qigong, but uh, in the ancient, we don't call it Qigong. Qigong is a new name, it's, a, it's very young, just about eight years old. Qigong, the name Qigong. Before we call Dao Yin, Tu Na, An Chao, Tai Xi, Jing Zuo, Da Zuo, Zuo Chan. So I ask, oh sorry. In the ancient, do you know which one is the famous Qigong master? He or she is, uh, was a doctor, but uh, she, he or she practice or research Qigong. Hua Tuo. Yes, Hua Tuo. And? It's more. So here. Throughout the Chinese history, numerous successful TCM doctors have been Qigong experts. Hua Tuo, number one. Sun Tzu Yang. So you look here. Yeah, Sun Tzu Yang, look there. 
This picture. 华佗五禽戏。那我就顺便问一下 ，I I will ask Dan. 华佗五禽戏 ，five animal plays. Which five animal plays? Which five animals? Cat. Dog. Dog. Yeah. Dog. Cat. Cat. Which one? Snake. Monkey. 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 Monkey is for it's for our if we practice the monkey exercise, it's good for our heart. Snake. No. Tiger. 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 Yes. Tiger. 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 It's good for our liver. Beer. 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 Yeah. Beer. Low. Yeah. And low is for improving our kidney energy. Bear. You want to make sure to show them that you need everyone improve our kidney energy. And the bear? Yes, bear. For stomach, shun. And another one. The bird. 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 Always lose time. You see, ah, we, uh, for we have five animals, six animals, four animals. We talk about it. It's for our tiger for liver, and a deer for kidney. Bear for stomach spleen, and another one for lung. Which one for lung? It's a bird exercise. Bird, bird, bird. I'll call ape. Ape. Monkey. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ape, ape is monkey. Yes. Bird, 鸟. Oh, bird. Bird. Okay. Bird. Bird. 鸟. Bird. 鸟那个飞飞翔的是这样。Shut up. 是不是对我们肠肺 strong our lung organ 是不是有帮助吧？还有个 lung organ。刚才说了孙思邈，耶，那我们听听下面的这个答案啊。What monkey for? Monkey for heart. For heart. 昨天晚上我演示的那个抚琴戏 last night, I showed the 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 chicken exercise include that one. That is monkey. This is monkey. We will practice that later. We can. We look at the bianquie. Ah, in the warring states period, and the huatuo we already said before, and the zhang zhongqing in the han dynasty, and the chao yuanfang in the sui dynasty, and the sun simiao, and the wang tao in the tang dynasty, and the liu wanshu, zhang zihou, li dongyuan, zhu danxi. Now in the Jing and the Yuan dynasty, so many very famous doctor they practice that and research Qi Gong. Now, more famous. I think everyone know Li Shizhen. And in our Nanjing University, there is a Li Shizhen statue. Then the old, uh, Lao Shao Qu. Yeah, I've seen. You see that. Li Shizhen and Yang Qizhou, everyone knew it because of the acupuncture, everyone knew Yang Qizhou in Ming Dynasty. And the Qing Chao, the Qing Dynasty, Yi Tian Shi, Wu Jutong, Zhang Shichun, during the Republic period. So, if we want to become a famous doctor, try to practice the Qigong exercise. Because Qigong, not only just for yourself, health, but also, you can teach. You can suggest your patients do some special exercise. Qigong. For example, when I worked in Britain uh, about 12 years, nearly every patient, after acupuncture treatment, I will leave 10 minutes teach. Suggest them to do one or two forms, forms every session treatment. 那么我觉得比较多的呢是太极气功十八式，太极气功 eighteen forms in this country， because they， they 这位这个这个这个这个外国人他们不了解， they can't understand so much， breath in breath out mind and moments。那么我先呢， start to teach them， 哪个的？ very easy breath in breath out。Maybe after one course, six sessions, then can understand how to do 18 forms. 
next year. After one year, when they come to see you again, then we will study another Shigo. Maybe we go to the high level. Of the three Shigo, teach by the form of that. In this Shigo, ah. Okay. 那么也就是说 ，these master physicians contributed greatly to TCM in their times, and the, the history of Chinese medicine should not be ignored. 也就是说呢，就是他们对这方面的一些一些这个研究啊，那么的的确确，我们做中医的都应该 learn， 呃、uh, ，from them， 多向他们学习。But when we study in university, uh, twenty or thirty years ago, in traditional Chinese medicine university, we have no chance to practice to study qigong. Because in thirty, twenty years ago, in thirty, twenty years ago, when we studied in uni, no qigong subject, no qigong course. Because we have no chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to practice qigong. But since 1980, we have the chance to They are open. They have qigong subject. That's called Chinese medical qigong. So when I graduated from Nanjing University of Chinese Medicine in nineteen ninety, because I practiced five years during uh, my first first five years uh, Chinese medicine education, I practiced qigong every day. I have had a chance to study with a very famous qigong master. He his name is Wang Ruiting from Shanghai. She taught Shaolin Inner Strength One Finger Meditation Zen in Nanjing, in Nanjing City. Maybe in that time, 1985, there are so many students, my classmates, went to study with him. So every night, we practice. Our classmates practice the Shaolin Inner Strength One Finger Meditation. Then together, maybe one hour or two hours, mm. because that time we we are we, we were young and have time had time. So this one is a very good opportunity. I'm uh, I'm so lucky. So when I graduated from Nanjing University, I worked in Jiang uh, Qigong Association, uh, Association of Chinese uh, of uh, Chinese Medicine Qigong in Jiangsu Province. 那么有两年的机会呢 ，two years I worked in the association of Qigong research. In 1992, I went back to Nanjing University of TCM, taught Chinese medical Qigong and Chinese medical health. 是不是这样翻译？叫养生学，怎么翻译？中医养生学。Chinese medical health, maybe. 就是说，有。养生，就是呃，他们他们翻译成 nourishing life。Oh, nourishing life。Yeah， 就是养生。Nourishing life。Nourishing life。Like longevity。Yeah， longevity。然后呢，呃 ，during 呃 my 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 teaching， 呃、uh, ，since nine nineteen ninety to two thousand five， I had a chance to study， 呃、uh, 呃、uh, ，acupuncture， 推拿 ，master and a PhD degree。And in that time, I still worked for in university. I get salary from university. I don't need to pay the 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 the, the tuition fee. So I'm so lucky. As so, this is my experience about、uh, qigong. I want to talk about another very famous doctor. He his name is Chao Yuanfang. He wrote a book we call Zhu Bing Yuan Hou Le. This is a very very good Qigong book. In this book, every disease had a, a Qigong exercise. For example,、uh, in 2002,、uh, I do the、uh, research for Qigong for diabetes. I choose many forms from that book, Chao Yuanfang's Zhu Bing Yuan Hou Le. And Li Shizhen, 